Hello, welcome to this Page Plus tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a paragraph style and apply it to different text boxes. So first I need to draw out a text frame so I'll click on the text frame tool and draw out a frame and then right click in it and fill it with placeholder text and then right click on the first paragraph and go to text format paragraph and then click on alignment and spacing and right here where it says special click the drop down and select hanging and then change the indent to one inch press enter and now I have a hanging indent on my first paragraph so now I want to save this I got the way I want it to look and uh, I want to save this paragraph style. So I'll just click in the paragraph again and then go up here where I would select a style from the drop down and click in there once and then type in the words hanging indent and press enter. And now I will have in this palette here a entry called hanging indent and you also see that it has the uh, paragraph um, hidden character next to it the backwards P versus up here you see that they are uh, the letter A that means they are character uh, styles and these are paragraph styles so now I want to apply that style to this paragraph so I'll click in here and go down to um, the style that I just made and click it and then you see that it makes the uh, it applies the style of the paragraph so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this box and draw out another one and this time instead of selecting each paragraph I'm going to click on the edge of the box to select it and then go down to hanging indent and click it and it makes a hanging indent on every paragraph in this box and also if I make a text box of my own or I'm sorry a entry of my own it will hang the indent on there press shift on the keyboard and press enter to make a soft return and then paste the text and there's another paragraph now the difference between saving a paragraph style and saving a text style is for a text style you would highlight the text you want to save the style for and then go up here to this box and type in your name for your text style so I'm going to change this text here to red and you see it that it's changed to red and then I'll go up here and type in the words red text press enter and now you see that the entry for red text is there so I'll just go ahead and make this first line red text and this one here. Now let's say I'm going through this and somebody says hey we don't want that to be red text we want it to be blue. Well instead of going here and changing a little bit of the text to blue and making a new style what we can do is do a complete update of the style as it was used throughout the whole document. The way that you do that is go in here to this palette and click the drop down and click modify red text and they said they want a blue text so we'll change this to blue and go into character click the drop down and I'll click on blue 
click OK. And everywhere the blue or the red was used, it's now blue. Vice versa, if they said, no, no, we, we just don't like it like that. We want it to have it red again. Okay, we'll make it red. Now, also, you see this one, two, three, four, five. That is the uh, color schemes. Very powerful feature. And um, I would highly recommend that whenever you lay out a document, you use the color scheme. Because it will help you change the color scheme of your publication very quickly. So that is how you make paragraph styles and text styles and save them for future use and uh, how you can change your documents globally and save a lot of time. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I hope to see you in the